started. Uh, Andrew Lopez, you want to go first? Hey, Stan, uh, Andrew from ESPN. Um, just kind of going back to the, the, the inbounds play last night, a after that, maybe after the game, I know Nikhil was probably feeling terrible about the feuds. Dog wanted to say hello. Uh, yeah. do, you say any, uh, do you say anything to Nikhil in that situation? Oh, we talked today, you know, and, and, and listen, I mean, you know, the guy's starting his career out and he's going to be in that situation again because he's a good free throw shooter. And so hopefully he learns from it because – he knows what his mistake was. He looked away. He was looking, trying to see where the next trap might come from instead of just catching the ball. And so he took his eyes off the ball and he got hit. I mean, it's something he's got to learn for, from. But, but listen, I mean, everybody's focused on the free throws, the inbounds play, and the foul. And none of those were good, okay? But to me, the bigger problem, and one we've had a problem with, in the past is with six minutes to go, we were up 17 and we stopped playing the way that we had played to get that lead. We became very, very random in our spacing. Um, we didn't play with any pace. We didn't get movement or ball movement or not enough of it. And we have been there before. And so that's what we watched today. We watched some good stuff. Too, but then we watched the last six minutes of the game unedited straight through to see what happened because it was, you know, I mean, it's emblematic of, of what's happened to us two or three times this year. And we have to keep playing the way we played to get to where we were. Um, and we have to understand at that point in the game, team down 17 at home, um, they're going to be able to take some liberties and be more physical and you're not going to get those calls and, and you have to be able to play through that. Um, and we just did not do a, a good job. And with that said, um, you know, I made one really bad play call and probably should have made um, a couple of others. And so clarifies for me a little bit, maybe what changes we need to be making uh, late in the game also. Um, so yeah, those plays at the end of the game were we're crushing, and we should have been able to win the game regardless, but we didn't play well enough in the last six minutes, and that's what I think um, we have to turn around. And I guess uh, well, Alonzo last night said that, you know, as the point guard, he feels like he should get the offense more organized. Uh, maybe that's just him wanting to take the blame, but I guess, you know, how, how do you feel like you guys should address those issues? Is that something a point guard needs to do? Is that a team issue? Uh, I guess what are you telling your team to, to do to solve that? Yeah, no, it's both. Like what I said to Lonzo is he needs to have the ball in his hands in those situations and get us organized. He understands that. But we didn't get to our spots on the floor. We can do that with other people handling, but we didn't. And, and there's no excuse for that. And our pace up the floor, we were just walking. It was almost like we thought with six minutes to go, we could just run out the clock. Six minutes is forever in the NBA. Um, especially when you're playing teams that shoot the ball the way they do. And, you know, our approach to the last six minutes was not good enough. And we've been there before and hopefully being there again, probably the most heartbreaking one of the year, well, that or Indiana at home, and seeing it again. You, you've got to make changes. You've got to learn from it. You've got to get better. I thought Zion made an interesting comment yesterday. He said everyone's heart was in the right place. Everyone's trying to do the right thing. How do you, uh, I guess, take the positive of that, that everyone seems to be wanting to take, you know, wanting to win the game and taking the game for themselves and understanding you need to make a play and harnessing that into something that is actually productive and allows you to win? Like, how do you take that attitude from each individual guy wanting to, to do something specific into the whole team, you know, kind of closing the game out. Yeah, well, I, I, I yeah, well, no, it did. I mean, look, we need to learn how to, you know, there's two things you're trying to do. Like you're, you're trying to play better, which I think in large part since the Minnesota game we have. But then you've also, you got to learn how to win. And, you know, you've got to learn from these situations and be better the next time. Um, I agree with Zion, everybody's heart's in the right place. Everybody wants to get it done. I think sometimes maybe a little too much and we force plays that we don't force over the rest of the game. Look, our ball movement 
Our unselfishness was incredible. 38 assists again, second game in a row. Um, but down the stretch, just a little too stagnant other than the play that got the ball to uh, – that got the ball to bled for the three. I mean, we were just, we were just too stagnant. So, um, yeah, we got to learn how to win. We got to learn how to play with a lead. We got to learn how to close games. Um, and so, I think from a coaching standpoint, you just need to the best you can keep teaching. I was wondering about your your thoughts about just the way that Nikhil played overall last night. Obviously, you know what happened at the end of the game was a focus, but it just seemed like unfortunate that, you know, the way the game ends, it seemed like he just played a really good game, obviously, and made a, made a, a bunch of threes. It might have been one of the, his biggest impacts he's had in the first two seasons of his career. I, I thought he played well, yeah, and he shot the ball without hesitation. He got good on-balance shots. Um, yeah, he's going to make mistakes. He dropped the pass at the end of the game. He fouled Lillard on a three, you know, um, things like that that you hope – he will learn from and, and get better at. But, yeah, his overall game was uh, was pretty good. Um, but, again, you know, part of the learning is learning how to win is it's not always about numbers. So, you know, you made a lot of shots, you put up a lot of points. You can't foul Lillard on the three. got to catch the inbounds pass. And I'm not saying that as a negative. It's part of learning. A lot of it is these little things that go into winning the game, you know, because – the three-point shot will come, the three-point shot will go, you know, but, you know, you can do smart things, solid things every single night to win games, and we've got a ways to go to get there, not just Nikhil, everybody. It was just you had mentioned him, so I use him as an example. Yeah, you mentioned, uh, you know, the offense struggling at the end and you want to call different plays. You, your last two buckets of the game was – uh, through Zion, do you think – are you tr pushing him more to demand the ball more in those situations? Do you think that's something he should be doing? I guess where does he fit in as far as fixing some of these late game uh, issues? Listen, I, I don't I, – I think Zion uh, did what he was supposed to do. I think that uh, in those situations where we're stagnant, I have to get the ball in his hands more, um, especially when we're not flowing up the floor with any kind of pace. Hey Stan, uh, I know it's we, we've talked about the the compactness of the schedule and, and having another game real quick to to play to kind of flush these out the system. Uh, do you think it's going to help these guys as a as a young team to help grow, knowing that the next game is also it's the same situation against Portland in Portland, uh, kind of doing. I mean, you can kind of do the same things if you you do those things. It, it, it may help there. I don't think it'll help hurt or anything else, you know. And I, I said this after we blew the big lead in uh, at home against Phoenix, you know, and then we were going into the Boston game and the questions were all about, you know, how is it going to affect you? And we had a great bounce back in that game. I don't know what will be tomorrow, but our guys will not be affected by what happened last night. They will come out and, and play. Good game, bad game, or whatever, it's not going to be because of last night. Their spirit was really good today. Um, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of ups and downs in this season, but it, in my mind, it has not been hangovers from the last game or anything else. Um, whether it's a good game or bad game, I don't think we got overconfident and after the Clippers and came out lazy last night. I don't think our guys get their heads down when something bad happens. I mean, they just play. Some nights it's really good. Other nights it's not really good, but... I, I think mentally they've been uh, pretty resilient. Coach, how much more difficult is it to win in late game situations when you don't have a Chris Paul, Jimmy Butler, when your young core is all really young and they're the ones that are going to be having the ball down the stretch? How, how can you get those guys to basically figure out something that works? Well, I, I think we've, I think we we as a group and they as individuals have figured out what's works. The problem is we go away from it in those situations. Instead of just continuing to play, um, we start pressing a little bit. We get unorganized, you know, things that we don't do for the rest of the game. So we just have to, it's more, we have to be able to sustain. Um, I, don't, I don't think any of our guys are afraid of the moment. Um, you know, part of it is just experience. Part of it is 
I probably need to give them more structure. I would rather play with some freedom up and down the floor, not let defenses lock in. But um, when we're like that, I probably should have grabbed control of it a little earlier. You know, we did with a couple of play calls with Zion, but we probably should have done that, you know, a couple minutes earlier. So part of it's me helping them. Um, part of it is just them staying with what they're supposed to do. And part of it is just them gaining experience in those, in those situations. So, you know, when I watched last year's games, you know, when I took the job, I mean, it was generally Drew Holiday with the ball late, you know. And so even for Brandon, who's, who's been in the league, he hasn't been in that situation a lot. I mean, Zion has played, what, I mean, 62, you know, games in his career. I mean, you know, these guys are in different situations. So, um, you know, I, I'm not down on him. Listen, I, I went through, you know, I watched a guy as great as LeBron evolve, and I saw late game troubles with him early in his career too. So, you know, people are very, very quick to judge guys in today's game. And they forget, you know, they, they want to compare them to guys like Damian Lillard, who are great now, without going back and seeing where those guys were, you know, at similar points in their career. So um, our guys just need to learn and get better, you know, and they need to they need to get better. We need them to get better quickly. But, you know, I, I'll go back to what Zion said. I think their heart's in the right place. And, uh, you know, I think what gets you through and what did, hasn't been able to get us through some of these growing pains is you got to be better defensively, and, we, and we're not. And we weren't last night. We have gotten better over the last couple of games, but down the stretch last night, um, we just weren't committed enough. Lillard was at the rim, and then we gave him the offensive rebound. I mean, you, you can't. And, that, and then that puts pressure on your offense. we got to get our job done at the defensive end. All right. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Yeah.